All right, so I got a request to do a quick uh, how-to on Reaper. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail on anything because um, I don't. I mean, I don't use it in super detail, but we're just going to go through a few things. First thing you want to make sure is that your uh, interface is turned on because uh, Reaper won't uh, pick it up automatically, and you'll have to reset the uh, the interface. So here we go. This is what you get when you turn it when you open it. All these menus, whatever. First thing we want to do is go to track, insert track. Unlike a lot of programs that have all these different kinds of tracks and all this crap, Reaper has one basic kind of track. You load it up and you do whatever you want with it. Instead of having all these different things that get all confusing and shit. This is one of the things I love about the program. One of the other things is it has a very small PC footprint, so it doesn't take a lot of processing power to run Reaper. And you can add tracks, you know, whatever you want to do. So, first thing I always do, whichever track I'm working with, I'll click this speaker button. This You click it once and it turns on uh, your monitoring, so you can hear yourself playing through your headphones or whatever. You see over here, I got my headphones here, they're hooked up to my interface, um, and normally if I was going to actually record something, then I would just put those on, click this button, and you can hear it. You also have to click arm if you want to hear it. Without arming the track, you're not going to hear anything. And you can see here, you can select your, your inputs. My interface has two inputs, so I got A and B. We'll just leave it at A for now, but you can change it if as necessary. So let's say I want to add some, say I'm going to record a guitar track. I need to add, and I'm going direct, so I need to add something to give myself some sound. So we'll click the effects button there, and you get your effects window. If I click VSTI, or VST, this gives me a bunch of options. I have all these preampus things downloaded, pull in things. A Reaper comes with a bunch of stuff like compressors, delay, you know, gates, all that kind of stuff. I got some other amp models here, the TSE X30, of course, the Solo. These are like uh, slow uh, amp models, I guess, or amp sims. Box angle bug X. Lately, what I've been using though is Amplitude 3. So you can either double click or you can select it and click OK. It doesn't matter. And what this is going to do. Is put it in your uh, in your effects window. Boom! There it is. Amplitude in the effects window. Any effects that you add are going to be added here, um, or any of the VST VSTs that you add are going to be added here. And you can you can check and uncheck them to turn them on and off. You can right click, and you got some options there. You know, there's a ton of stuff you can do. For now, we're just gonna go here, click here to add to to load preset. You know, I've got my own presets here. Load one up. And you can see here's my preset. We go through it. I got stomp A, stomp B, which are the same. Amp A, amp B, cabs, rack. You know, you got tuner. You can turn it on and off, mute it. You know, whatever you want to do. So once your once your effects are all loaded up and where you want them, you can go ahead and close your uh, you can close your uh, effects window. Now, as is, if I had my guitar plugged into A, into my first input on my interface, I could just hit record right here, and it'll record. I can hit record now, and it'll record, but nothing's nothing's going in there. Stop delete it um, to delete delete it, I just hit the delete key um, now let's say I want two guitar tracks with the same the same guitar sound so I'll right click this first track since it's already set up I'll go duplicate tracks and then uh, bam now you have a second guitar track everything's the same here so you've got your monitoring turned on it's already armed you're in input A Say you only want to record one track, you can unarm one, and it'll just record the, the one that's armed. The only tracks that are going to be recorded are the ones that are armed. 
Um, all right. So we've got these buttons up here. M will mute this track. So when you play back, this track will not, you won't hear anything coming from this track at all. Or you can solo the track, which will mute every other track in the thing. You can solo multiple tracks, and you can mute multiple tracks, depending on what your needs are. Um, I guess that's pretty much it. That's how I use Reaper. Obviously, if you don't want effects, you don't have to select effects for these tracks. Um, typically, I'll go down here at the end and I'll load up this classic master limiter and this gives you a limiter for the master and you can adjust it however you want you can turn it off you can uh, click on it remove it close whatever whatever you want to do and uh, yeah, that pretty much covers everything that I do with Reaper. The only exception was uh, I once did a track where I wanted to fade out. And I kind of forget how to do that. So if I ever do it again, I'm going to have to look up how I did that. But uh, basically, you end up getting a master track up here, which I think is one of these buttons. But I really honestly couldn't tell you maybe no yeah and then it gives you an option to uh, move the uh, the level at specific points you can add points to you can add a start point and a stop point for uh, where you want it to start fading and end fading and then you can adjust your fade level and it'll give you a linear uh, fade throughout the throughout the rest of the or throughout between those two points you do fade in too that way um, anyway that's a quick getting started how to kind of thing of how I use Reaper. Um, if anybody has any questions, feel free to ask them. I hope this helped out a little bit. Um, and if you have any more specific questions, you can ask me. I won't guarantee that I'll know the answer because I don't use I don't I don't use too many of the features as you can see that this program offers. But I use enough to get by, enough to record things and uh, get a decent sound out of it and anything that I don't know how to do um, I can usually find answers on how to do it somehow so there you have it I hope it helps you if not that's cool too you know whatever alright take it easy and thanks for checking that out